So we'll be going over a weird and unusual story concerning Alexa Bliss, as well as some other topics with Scarlett and Keith Lee from WWE NXT. Lots of wrestling news to talk about today, so let's get into it. Starting off with this unusual Alexa Bliss story. So, like we mentioned a few weeks back, Alexa Bliss was one of the latest WWE superstars to join Cameo. She was accepting a request to make shout-out videos for her fans. The starting price for one of those videos was $400. That was the big story a few weeks ago, and everyone was talking about the starting price. A lot of fans were saying how insane that was, and how it didn't make sense to spend $400 on a shout-out video. However, it could be special depending on the situation. If a younger fan gets something like a birthday shout out from one of these superstars, it might be really special and mean a lot to them. So these cameo videos could be a good gift in that sort of way. But in general, it is a lot of money to pay for a quick two minute long video. Believe it or not, Alexa has actually received quite a lot of orders over the last few weeks. Her page has been extremely successful. From shoutouts to advice to prep talks, Alexa has covered a lot of different topics in these fan videos. But it was one request that went viral and really was the most talk about thing this week. Apparently a WWE fan with a spare $400 lying around decided to book a video from Alexa in which he asked her out on a date. It seems that the fan that placed the order didn't click the option for Alexa's response to stay private. So once Alexa finished the order, it went up on her public page of samples with all her previous orders. And that's when all the fans saw it. The video response from Alexa Bliss responding to the date, questions started getting posted everywhere. And that's when it went viral. Everyone was talking about it on social media, and I'm pretty sure every wrestling site in the world covered this story by now. It was not a really serious story, but it's a more of a goofy situation that a lot of fans just couldn't believe. But this actually happened. Someone actually expected to get a date with Alexa Bliss via a cameo request. It's a true story. Alexa Bliss handled the situation extremely professionally though, and it was really nice about the request. Alexa could have easily turned down the video request, but she decided to respond to him and complete the order. Alexa said that she felt extremely flattered, but had to turn down his request because she is already seeing someone. That someone that Alexa is referring to is, of course, Ryan Cabrera. Rumors of Alexa Bliss and Ryan Cabrera being together first came out earlier this year by a source that was close to the situation. I remember covering the topic here on the channel. Basically, to sum it up, Alexa and Ryan met at the SmackDown Fox premiere back in October of 2019 and instantly had something special. They were seen together at Disney multiple times. They were seen together at New Year's, and that's when the dating rumors started to really grow. Alexa and Ryan never really confirmed their relationship, and it was kept a secret for a couple of months, which is understandable. You don't want to put all your dating business out there right away. So they kept it hushed for a bit. But they recently went public with their relationship, and now they're starting to post pictures together every so often on their Instagram pages. Alexa and Ryan are happily together, so that's who she was referring to in the video. Alexa closes out the video by telling this fan that she's sure that there's someone out there for him and hope he's continuing to stay safe. So it's been a rough week for this one specific fan, to say the least, but at least Alexa actually accepted his request and did respond to him. Real quick, just a reminder to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and you enjoy what you see, click that subscribe button below so you won't miss any of the new daily videos. If you've been keeping up with NXT, then you already know about the huge feud that started up over there. NXT World Champion Keith Lee has started to get targeted by NXT's new biggest threats, Karrion Cross and Scarlett. Karrion Cross and Scarlett have just been on NXT for a handful of months, but they quickly climbed into the main event picture and they really are something special. With barely a few months on the roster, Karrion Cross and Scarlett have proven themselves to be really unique talents that stand out from the rest. I'm a really big fan of them, and they have really brought back my interest in NXT. Karrion Cross, Scarlett, and especially Keith Lee have really made me pay close attention to NXT again. The real golden era and my personal favorite era in NXT history 
was definitely 2015 to 2016. There was a point with 2015 NXT that I was actually looking forward to it more than the actual bigger shows of Raw and SmackDown. NXT had the better storytelling, the better matches, the better everything. And there's probably some fans that can argue the same case, even in 2020. NXT was just so amazing during that time period. You have Finn, Kevin Owens, Samoa Joe, Sami Zayn, Nakamura, Alexa Bliss, Sasha Banks, Bailey, Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch, Paige, Emma, the list can continue for a long time. I even ranked NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 2015 as one of my favorite WWE shows in recent memory. So I have a lot of love for the NXT brand. Now, five years later, NXT is still just as great and we have a lot of interesting new characters and faces on the program. Keith Lee vs. Karrion Cross closed out a recent edition of NXT by delivering some hard-hitting words at each other. The individual that was quiet throughout that whole exchange was Scarlett, but Keith Lee was sure to include her into everything as well. Keith Lee took a jab at Scarlett via Twitter. Keith had this to say, If I don't hide from Brock or Roman, what makes you think I'm going to hide from a chick that gets paid to do lip sync presentations? Get out of here. So quite the heavy jab at Scarlett by just calling her a chick that gets paid to do lip sync presentations. Keith Lee is of course referring to Karrion Cross's entrance, which features Scarlett lip syncing with some of the words from the song. A fan had asked Scarlett a while back if that was in fact her own voice on the entrance music, and she confirmed that it is her own voice. So Keith Lee is calling out Scarlett as well for just being a lip sync performer. It'll be interesting to see if Scarlett will respond to Keith Lee's comments. The Scarlett character might not actually say much on TV, but just her quiet overall presence is really dark and terrifying. She adds a lot to the whole presentation of Carrie Ann Cross. So I think the character is amazing and gets the job done perfectly. But maybe Keith Lee is right. Maybe it would be nice to start hearing more from Scarlett as well. If you've been following Scarlett's career for a while, then you already know that she's way more than just a manager. Before landing with WWE, Scarlett traveled the world and worked with multiple wrestling organizations. Scarlett quickly started making a name for herself on her own and started to get noticed by WWE. Her first big WWE appearance was in 2016 when she had a Raw match against Nia Jax. She wrestled that night as Sasha Banks' biggest fan, Scarlett, but was unfortunately squashed within seconds. WWE still has that match up, so if you want to see Scarlett's appearance from several years ago, just look up Nia Jax vs. Scarlett. So Scarlett is most definitely a talented in-ring performer herself, and what I can't wait to see is Scarlett's first feud as well. That's when we'll probably hear Scarlett speak some more, and I'm really interested to see if she'll bring that same dark theme to her solo character and her promos. So I'm really excited to see Scarlett get involved in her own feud. Carrie and Cross and Scarlett are obviously in a relationship with each other outside of the ring. So maybe that's what helps them create this rich chemistry between their characters. But Carrie and Cross and Scarlett are such a perfect pairing and they really complement each other week after week. So this Keith Lee and Karrion Cross feud has me really excited for NXT again, and I'm really excited to see where this goes. I love talking about NXT and would love to talk about it more often. It's just that I look for the biggest interesting topics to cover, and that's not really there every week with NXT. But I'm loving the Keith Lee and Karrion Cross situation right now, and will definitely continue to cover that storyline as long as it stays really interesting. The future is bright for all those NXT talents, and I'm really excited to see this match. What are your thoughts on Alexa Bliss turning down this fan that paid for a $400 video? And what are your thoughts on Karrion Cross vs. Keith Lee? Leave your comments below, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.